we try to connect this side first usually so that it's easier for us to connect the coil this two this two metal we just push it in so that this enters and then and then we lock it so then when we have connected that then it becomes very easy to now connect the coil 24k comes with two coils you can uh, see this uh, six inch uh, coil the round one and then we have the elliptical coil the, this elliptical coil is good when you are detecting in the bushes so that you can be able to maneuver through. usually we say garret faces garret 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 here faces the garret there so already the rubbers are in this, this two, this and this, and then we bring it nicely in, nicely in without forcing. So once this is in, we'll. Uh, have this and then we close it in with here that's beautiful so you say the garret also faces garret right yeah garret faces garret Wonderful. during the connection okay so usually when we are connecting this, yeah. we make it tight, but yeah. not too tight. This should be able to, to move this way, okay. but at the same time, it should not be loose. So, so we tighten good. a little as yeah. we do this. So like this has reached its end where this can still be flexible. Okay. Then the next point is that to connect... Uh, So to it's connect a, this, it's we, we put bit, yeah, it's moving, we put it right? Up, yeah, mm -hmm. we put it upright mm -hmm. so that it's easy still to maneuver through when we are uh, mm. we are, we are tying the cable. Right. And one thing that we our uh, our people need to know mm. is that this cable must be very 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 tight, very 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 tight, because we don't want to uh, to induce EMI. Mm. EMI is like interference, electromagnetic interference. Okay. When you have uh, so the you, detector reading yeah. signals from the cable mm. rather than from the ground, yeah. we call that electromagnetic interference from the cable. Okay, so the so cable must be very tight, right? It must be very tight. Oh, yeah. Then another thing also when connecting, there are these uh, these holes these the and then there are pins here okay this uh if you can look at this very well mm. this 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 part uh, oh, this, yeah. this this depression, like depression. It should be able to face uh, let me call it mountain <laughs> all right <laughs> a depression should be able to face mountains mm. so then uh, once we get that right yeah. we push it in mm. without forcing mm. and then the connection is complete. The connection is complete. Yeah. Good. Connected the uh, the shaft to this main uh, control box, and we have uh, fixed the cable, and we have connected the coil as well. So now what we need to do is call a quick start guide. When you go to the field, you have done all of your connections. What do you do next? The first thing that you do is that you bring the detector to factory settings. Mm. Number one. So to bring the detector to factory settings, hold this down arrow. Uh, you 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 press hold as you switch on. You can see from the screen this word FD appears on the screen. So we press this pinpoint button. Okay. So now this is factory settings. Mm -hmm. Volume is full. Sensitivity is very low. Sorry. This part uh, shows sensitivity. This part shows volume. So now, we, when we are in the field, we brought it to factory settings. Mm. What do we do next? The next thing we do is that to start detecting, I always advise that sensitivity should be to the maximum. So these two buttons are used to adjust sensitivity. When you lower this, 
sensitivity comes down. This is, for example, this is now zero. When you increase this, when you press this one, this button, the sensitivity goes up. Goes up, all right. All through to the fold when sensitivity is now 100% or 10. Now, we usually have sensitivity to the fullest possible without having some six lines on the screen. You can hear that sound. Yeah. It shows that there are some varied methods here. Mm. Yeah. So when you hear a loud signal, discriminate. Mm. To discriminate means we differentiate between whether it is gold mm -hmm. or it is others. So for example, here now we are detecting, we can hear a lot of sound. Okay? Mm. So now the next thing we need to do, uh, just come close so that I can show them how to discriminate. Discrimination is done using this but this uh, this nail nail console. Eh? It's called iron console. We just press it. When it appears on the screen, when it appears on the screen, mm -hmm. okay. you can hear the sound is no longer consistent. Yes. Mm -hmm. If we were working with a known target, for example, uh, I have thrown some keys on the ground. Mm -hmm. Here we don't have gold. Eh? Mm -hmm. I have thrown <laughs> some keys on the ground. Mm -hmm. You can hear the sound. Yes. If I do iron cancel, you can see you press this until you get this same symbol on the screen. And then you can hear that sound. Yeah, I can get a different sound. So, yeah, so that crrr sound is uh, showing that we are able to discriminate that is not oh, gold. Only discriminate when it's a loud signal. Mm. And if it's a loud signal that is gold, the sound will be consistent. It will not be giving you the crrr crrr crr sound. Mm. Okay? Mm. So we are doing pinpointing now mm. because, first of all, in my previous video, I explained that our detector is able to detect about a feet from the object. Mm. When I talk about that, it does not mean the depth. Mm. It means horizontally because the signals are going deep into the ground. Mm. So horizontally, you know, how far? You can see how far. When, when do you start getting the signal? Mm. When you're closer to the key, right? Yes. So suppose this was a, a tiny, tiny, tiny gold signal in the ground. Mm. How would we know exactly where it is, you know? Because we don't want you digging all over. We are giving you that ability to have precise digging. Mm. Precise digging, that means that you will dig just the exact place where your target is. So now, what we do is called pinpointing. This, this, uh, this one on the middle is called pinpointer. So we press it and hold. So for example, those six lines you saw on the screen, yes. it means the sensitivity is very high. Okay. So we reduce the sensitivity. I've reduced the sensitivity considerably and I want to try again to pinpoint. Come closer. Okay. You can see on the screen, yeah. at the point where the, we are close on the exact position of the object, mm. it is written zero, zero. When we go half further, mm. You can see no sound from far, right. and you, I want you to estimate. I want you to estimate mm. at, around how far from the coin, from the coin we start yeah. getting the sound of those. Keys. All right. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. How far? Very, About very, very near. Right? Very near. Yes. Wow. Uh -huh. That means uh, I'll, I'll just raise it from the from okay. the air. Uh -huh. That sound means sensitivity is high. All right. Because the object is obviously very. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So I'll raise it a bit on the air uh -huh. so that we can estimate again how far yeah. horizontally are we uh -huh. able to detect mm, the keys. Right? The keys, yeah. Uh -huh. so and uh, and if you listen to the sound, uh -huh. you remember you were saying uh -huh. that our detectors are configured such. Sorry, such that mm. uh, the closer you get to the target, mm. the higher the sound, okay. and the smaller the target, the mm. lower the, the, sound. the sound. A big target, big, big sound, sound, and close to the target, high sound. High sound. So I want you to see that when I'm pinpointing, okay. you will notice uh, the sound increasing significantly when mm. we are getting closer to the object, mm. right? Mm. So I'm holding it up in the air because it is right. very big, right? Mm. So I can.
Now, there are two major problems that we face in the ground when we are mining. One is called uh, mineralization. Another one is called uh, electromagnetic interference. So what happens is that for mineralization, we solve that through balancing, ground balancing. So that the detector, when the de a detector is balanced to the ground, it's such that it is taking over the sound of the soil. So that when you hear any signal, for example, like this, we are very sure if we dig here, let me increase sensitivity a bit. We are very sure when we dig up this position, we will find a metal on here on the ground. Right. We will find something on the ground. Yes. Because the detector has balanced. At factory mm. setting that we did, mm. the detector has balanced to the ground. Okay. Now, one problem that you cannot solve by balancing mm. is called electromagnetic interference. Okay. When you have, for example, overhead cables, mm. you have another detector uh, uh, a nearby, or you have very heavy clouds in the sky, mm. you can't solve that by uh, by ground balancing. Okay. We solve that through shifting the frequency mm -hmm. that the detector operates in. Okay. Now, to shift the frequency of the detector, currently it's working because uh, the, all of the frequencies here do not affect the frequency that we are detecting in. Mm. But in case you experience a challenge like that, mm. this is what you do. You just switch off. So here we have our detector off. We want to change the frequency of, uh, of detection. Okay. So we hold this ion cancel, this one. All right. That, we hold, uh, yeah. Yes, yes, the ion cancel. Right? Yes. All right. We press and hold mm -hmm. as we switch on our detector. Mm -hmm. So you can see it come, just come to F4. F4, yes. It means that we were detecting, we were detecting at F4, F4. frequency 4. Mm -hmm. This detector comes with five frequencies, mm -hmm. F1, F2, F3, F4, F4. and F5. Okay. So we can change uh, uh, to F5 and see if that works, if, so if you were having means, interference. Uh, F5, that means it's at the higher frequency, right? Another frequency. All right. We have five different frequencies. Okay. So I, let me just, just bring it near so that we can see. F0, F1, F2, F3, F4, F5. So, we, so among all those five, you can change. For example, if you want to detect that F5, we just switch it off and it will have saved. Okay. So that when we switch it back on, it will be, we will now be detecting that F5. Yeah. Okay. So that is how we solve interference. You just keep choosing which frequency is not being interfered with. It's like um, you try, it's like a trial thing. You try if F1 works. If F1 does not work, try to detect that F2. If F2 does not work, try to detect that F3. If F3 does not work, try to detect that F4 or F5. Now, this, um, there are limited uh, operations in this detector. That is why, for example, uh, EMI controlling for EMI, you have a five frequency. Controlling for ground balancing, you have automatic ground balancing. Yes, um.